Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. I pull up roto window shining. Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. Hi, hotties, kettles, tea stars. You here for hot tea? All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. Today, we're going to be talking about the Canvas Beauty owner and the alleged DV abuser. And what do we expect from Stormy? I don't expect much from Stormy. I don't expect her to be a stand-up woman. Stormy wants to be a star, so she's not going to operate in the basis of integrity and morals and principle. In my opinion, she's always operating from a place of wanting to be strategic to align herself in the right areas, which she don't necessarily do a good job at. But I'm creating this video just to prove everything that I've mapped out about Stormy and my opinions of her and how it is that she came into a friendship with Melody just to turn around and randomly fall out is valid. I just want to continue to document them and their track record and the things that they do because truthfully and honestly, if you are one way and you are aligning yourself with someone who you claim to be your friend, there are just certain things that you're not going to do, whether you end up being friends or not. If you stand on a certain principle, there are just some things you won't do so let's get into this video don't forget to like subscribe comment hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that i upload and shouts out to all of you thank you so much we are now at 18,000 subscribers everybody give warm snaps in the comment section because i really appreciate y'all y'all definitely make sure y'all like this video as well so we can continue to boost ourselves in the analytics and because there are so many new people over here on the channel i just want to clarify some things because people keep asking me this and i just don't understand why you you guys can't use your context clues but that's okay i won't insult you today with my sarcasm instead just explain Mel's baby mama is intentionally directed toward Martel. He continues to try to portray Mel to be a bitter baby mama when in fact he acts more of a bitter baby mama. We can't even call him a bitter baby daddy because he is just so sassy and so feminine. So for the people that are getting in my comments saying, why are you saying Mel's baby mama? Don't you mean Martel's baby mama? No ho. Because Mel was married. That is Martel's ex-wife. Moving on. Because some things I just shouldn't have to address. Now, I did a deep dive on Mel's and Stormy's relationship and friendship. And I also unpacked and uncovered the truths behind Stormy seeking out Mel. Because that's what it is. If you guys watch that video, then you know. She sought Mel out and then turned on her. And I'll leave a link to that video down below in the description box. But I will just give you a disclaimer with all of the strikes that had been going on there are not going to be any love and marriage huntsville clips in that video to really go back and debunk the things that i was saying in there there are but not all of them are in there and no worries you guys because if you want i can make a better one but like i said i basically debunked her true intentions for wanting to be male's friend because in my opinion it just seemed disingenuous she claimed to be upset with male because male wasn't answering her phone Phone, knowing that at the time Mel was going I'm not even about to explain the back and forth when it comes to that because Stormy can play in anybody else's face but she's not playing with in nobody's face over here you guys already know the story behind this and if you guys really want the story in depth I'm going to leave the link to that video in the description bar down below and multiple other videos that would do the deep dive on that topic but what we know is everything about Mel's baby mama has now been out so he's basically addressed these things and said that he did the things that he was accused of he was arrested there are documentations to back everything up that we've been reporting Mel and her kids have been reporting to the courts etc for whatever reason stormy has still aligned herself with someone that has been accused of abusing his children and I have to say it like that because that word might be a little too vibrant for this YouTube platform so Stormy who is the canvas beauty owner has 
invited this person who is accused of releasing revenge pee on his ex-wife and abusing his minor children to one of her parties. Now, I don't know what party this is, but obviously this is just one of them things that she's putting together for filming because the cameras were there. Now we're gonna talk about if Mel's baby mama was filming or not in another video, but right now we just wanna talk about the fact that the Canvas Beauty owner, Stormy Steele, has continuously aligned herself with a person that is known to be a DV abuser to not only only his ex-wife but his minor children he's known to be very aggressive and he's very disturbing to watch we've all reported this we've seen him okay he is literally infuriating to watch not only that you guys he literally just did an interview with tasha k where he was trying to expose his ex-wife for defending herself against him because he did steal her money then tried to record her reaction just so he can say that she is an abuser as well but we know that isn't the case because mills baby mama hit us with some new shit have you gotten anything of her recently exactly all that shit is old and all of that stuff is proof that you are a provoking narcissistic asshole so i want y'all to know and see what type of games the canvas beauty owner stormy still plays she tries to act like she is a girl's girl she tries to act like she is this educated boss babe businesswoman when in fact she's not this is a woman a black woman who is the owner of a hair care company that is for black women and at the end of the day black women at this very moment are being unalived at the hands and at the rate of every 4.5 hours by black men yes their counterparts so to see a business owner like stormy steel participate in a friendship with such an individual is outright disheartening now i'm going to be honest with you guys i'm not surprised because i've always and been called her out about her not necessarily being a girl's girl and her low-key being vindictive and fake but at this very moment, if you can't see it, nothing will. This isn't necessarily about who you like, who you don't like. It's about morals and it's about principles. This is a woman that has a hair care brand that is for black women, like I said, that is currently facing an issue within our community where our counterparts are unaliving us every four and a half hours male's baby mama has been accused of multiple dv accusations and he has shown his very aggressive side on multiple occasions on and off camera and everything that we've seen him show on camera i could only imagine the things that he do off camera again canvas beauty owner stormy still has aligned herself with this character i want you guys her customers the people that have purchased canvas beauty hair care products or body glaze products to get in the comments and really let me know what you guys think about the owner really supporting someone of this character now granted they are filming so he could have just pulled up just because they were filming but as the business owner of a black hair care brand that is for predominantly black women why not step up and say you know what i don't want this type of individual in my event right now with all of the controversy i'm not saying that you know he's guilty but right now i just don't necessarily feel comfortable because my brand is for black women and the things that you are doing to another black woman is not necessarily something i agree with whether i like her or not the things that you have been accused of is not fitting for my brand seeing as though there are a plethora of black women that support my business and they could be going through these very things so i don't want to align myself with somebody that is doing that to black women how much of a boss babe would she really be if she was to do something like that but she didn't she allowed somebody like male's baby mama to be in her event because in my opinion 
her silence ultimately is proof that she's in alignment with him. So the U.S. Sun reported in the filings obtained by the U.S. Sun, the Behind Every Man host, Melody, claimed her ex continues to use corporal punishment that is excessive and abusive toward the minor children, including but not limited to oaking, grabbing, punching, the minor son hitting all the children, pulling and twisting them. The father has refused to follow the court order as he has stopped therapy between him and his minor son. The fouling continued. The father continues to incorporate corporal punishment on the minor children that they want to see their father if he will stop hitting them. She also said he exhibited behavior that is or has been negligent and unstable and has shown a lack of proper parenting when it comes to his care for the minor children during his custodial times. In addition, she gave examples of some of his threats, including reportedly saying he will knock them out. Apart from being concerned about the children's mental well-being, she said that she's concerned about Martel's mental stability since he continues to relocate and if there are people that are going to get in my comments and say well those are just accusations he has the right to defend himself one male's baby mama was actually locked up for domestic violence third harassing communications so in order to be arrested they have to have some type of what proof some type of what evidence they can't just arrest you for no reason because somebody said you did something to them there are a plethora of people that get in my comments and say oh well maybe people don't want to speak out specifically on the network and the people around them don't want to speak out because it's not a criminal case it's a civil case sweetheart the custody battle is a civil case, but he has been arrested for DV third degree harassing communications. That means one part of it is civil. The next part of it is criminal because he actually started doing things that was against the law and that was illegal. So at some point, these are not just accusations. So that's one. Two he said it out of his own mouth that he sent Mill a picture, a screenshot of her and I, per his words, and it was intimate. It also came out of the side chick's mouth that Stormy Steele, the owner of Canvas Beauty, who has now aligned herself with a DV abuser, used to be friends with. She used to be friends with the DV abuser cold sore stuck on his lip she said out of her own mouth that the girl used to sit outside of her warehouse she knew slaw before she knew male so it was said by one her friend male's baby mama it was said by two her friend male's baby mama side chick it was written in the court documents he went on Tasha K and admitted to the same things, but in a different way. So the evidence is out there. Do you understand me, y'all? It's out there. He said all of these things out his mouth. His mistress, his mistress said it. He's gotten on platforms and doubled down on it, but changed the story a little bit. So at the very end of the day, what the owner of Canvas Beauty Stormy Steele knows is that this person intentionally sent out harassing communication text messages and plotted against his ex-wife. He said it out of his own mouth and I'm going to play those videos here, but I just want to leave y'all with something because I think it's something to be said about one's character. You can act like you stand on business, morals, principles, integrity, but at the end of the day, your actions is going to supersede anything that comes out of your mouth. Your character is based on your actions on the day to day when nobody's watching you, when you think nobody's watching you, when you're just living your life on the day the day your true character stands before you ever open your mouth i would like for y'all to get in the comments and let me know are you guys disappointed in stormy do you guys expect a woman that owns a black hair care company that is for black women who are majority of her customers supporting a man who is continuously putting his ex-wife another black woman in harm's way especially with all of the statistics and the stats of 
of black women being unalived and harmed every day, every four and a half hours at the hands of their spouses or intimate partners or whoever they're in a relationship with at the hands of a man, the black man, most times that they are intimate with. And this, like I said, is a letdown because women need to come together and unify. Men throughout their bullshit always stick together. But when it comes to women, because women always want to have male validation or be validated by men, there's always this inconsistency with how women choose to unify. Because most of the time, there's always going to be that one male identified broad that wants to break code just so she can align herself closer to a man, even though that might necessarily be a good man. It's just always that one. And at the end of the day, if we do not come together and stick to code, this is always going to be an ongoing issue. To me, it's the irony in Stormy having a hair care business where majority of her customers are black women, where a lot of black women statistically deal with DV every day is something that has been taken lightly within our community. And we need to change the trajectory of that. We can no longer continue to support people that will support DV abusers. Now, I'm definitely not saying boycott Stormy, but what I am saying is keep your eyes open. We want to be able to support people that are on the same mission and that have the same goals as us in order to push the community forward. We don't want to keep getting snuffed by people in our community that position themselves one way just to be an entirely different way, which ends up being a detriment to our community. And like I said, after everything that we've seen after the season ended, nobody should be confused on who Mills Baby Mama is and the things that he's done. Because like I said, a lot of these things came out of his own mouth. So nobody can play dumb or act foolish or act like they don't know what's going on. Y'all get in the comment section and let me know what you think about all of this. We're going to talk about the party, who was all there, etc. in another video. For the most part, we're going to talk about if Mills Baby Mama was filming or not. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that I upload. She don't know. She don't know if it's a video that, that exists. She doesn't know that. She did. I, 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 I sent her a screenshot. I did. I sent okay. her a screen. I sent her a screenshot. Um, of 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 her and I. I did. I sent her a screenshot, and I sent you. Did you see that, that text message in your phone? I mean, that uh, my PR sent to you. It was like almost like a, a like I was begging her like to to, like, to stop going online, saying stuff about me. And, and, and dragging me. And this was like a year and a half ago. And then I sent her a screenshot and I told her, I said, um, I said, I don't, I don't care if this ruined me or not. I said, leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? I sent her the screenshot. And I never said I was going to post a video. I never said that I was going to do that. But I, I guess it kind of, it was saying that if you don't stop, I'm going to do that. You know what I'm saying? I do. a picture. You know what I'm saying? Like, like stop all that fucking bullying me and all this kind of stuff. And, and I sent her a picture. Um, and and <laughs> so I sent her a picture. And on the um, on the um, document, it says seemingly sexual, seemingly sexual, because whatever it was, I marked it out, and I deleted it out of my phone, right? So I don't know exactly what picture. So I want to I want to know what picture it is. So, um, and and that was it. Does this have <clears throat> anything to do with what Carson Blue said about? No. Oh, sex tape? It, yeah. It ain't no sex tape. Of Arion sucking your dick. Because we want to know. Arion. Uh, not Arion, I'm sorry. Melody. Yeah, That's no. your wine, so, by the way. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's a 13%. But. 13.5. 13.5. So, and it's it's really good. I'm going to be honest with you because I don't, like, I'm very selective about my wine. So, you really did good with this. I appreciate this. So, no. <clears throat> it's, so, it's, it's no sex tape. Um, so what so nobody what, got a sex tape of yeah, your ain't nobody wife seen no sex tape of Melody giving doing you head no and you claim no the reason for some of y'all issues in y'all marriage is because she wouldn't give you head. Yeah, no, that so wouldn't. to have a video like that, that's kind of gold. Yeah, but no <laughs> proof of life. <laughs> no. So, you know, because I know Arian had mentioned too. Um, about her knowing something. No, she had went into my phone and saw and saw that picture, and that's why I, I deleted it at that time.
You know, but so it, it wasn't. Got, it wasn't no video. Does Arion have that picture? Did no, she hell take no. It? No. Okay. No, she ain't. Arion. I know she probably would have put, put that shit. She would have put that shit out. Right. Yeah. 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 I pull up roto window shining. I pull up roto window shining. Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you.